And Bob, you talked a bit earlier, you're excited about some of the technology that affects audience measurement and, and dwell time and how things, you, you, that's really important, you think, going forward? Um, I think so. Uh, I think, I, I'm, I'm not sure if the uh, gathering the metrics is going to be as important as some people think. I think right. it's, if, I think it's measuring or seeing who's attending the, um, the display in order to react to them, in order to give them the message that's appropriate to them. I mean, um, they, uh, the display should know that it's, that it's me, a 60-year-old person uh, in front of it, and present things that I'm interested in, maybe golf clubs or something like that. It should, uh, to, uh, um, to my sons, uh, it should present them technology items that they, right. they're more interested in, in and still be part of the... So more personal, like more reactive. Reactive, personal, uh, responsive. Um, maybe even do something if it sees that uh, I'm smiling when they show me this particular golf club right. and, uh, and, and do something to me, direct me to uh, where I can go. So I think uh, it's becoming actually easy remarkably easy now to to build res uh, reactive systems I mean uh, Microsoft Connect as, as I said earlier I think has absolutely changed the mm -hmm. rules um, uh, Panasonic has a has an add-on display that can or not a display a system that can uh, detect people and their distance from the display so if you can imagine a large display uh, reacting differently to you if you were further away and then as you approach it, it knows that you're interested or prob possibly interested and, and again, change the message, change something. So I think we're really at the beginning stages of a really exciting time where we can do things with electronic displays that just aren't possible and that couldn't have been, ever been possible with paper. And in fact, I think we'll, uh, aren't going to be interesting on small 30-inch displays are going to require 60-inch, 100-inch, 150-inch displays to really make interesting and attractive and compelling okay. for the brands and yeah. message. But that, that's mm -hmm. difficult for, I mean, are brands getting this? I mean, they, it, it must be difficult. It's difficult enough to plan a, a, a campaign with static posters, I would imagine. If you're suddenly planning for demographics and uh, what sort of person is in front of the screen, it's mm -hmm. going to be much more difficult. Are we seeing brands and people looking at that? I guess we're seeing them looking at it. Are they going to, how long is it going to take them to get to, get to grips a, with that? It's a very good question. I think there's a lot of education. Uh, I think it's, you know, part of it has got to be experimentation um, in, a, in a safe <laughs> environment somehow. Um, but uh, no, I think, you know, once you go to um, thinking about multiple displays, multiple sizes, multiple shapes, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, quite an equation to, to figure out. So I, I think it's going to take some time. And I think, as I say, I think the, at the moment, the majority of brands will be looking at just a simple poster, you know, right. replication. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, we're going to need some, some people to step forward and show the capabilities and, and hopefully that will, you know, open up a flood of, you know, new innovation. Right. Debbie, you yeah, think? No, I, I agree actually with what Ian's saying. I think education is certainly something and I think no matter the size of the screen, they are still looking at it as a right. as, as a big poster. Um, I loved it a few years ago when we worked with Nike Town um, and they put this big screen video wall in and their objective was to show the games, you know, of football, the World Cup, Wimbledon, whatever. And, you know, measurement came into it and it, Good question you mentioned earlier about you know how do we measure things. I think that's a very interesting debate to be had sort of on its own really. Um, but they just said as long as we can have people coming in store, they put some benches out, and actually when we did go and have them watch it, um, people were sat there watching right. it. They had their night bags them. there, yeah. you know, so it kept them in stores, you know. So mm. yeah, that, mm. that's how they were treating that big screen. It's like okay, people come in here as a sports shop. They love sport. <coughs> Let's put sport on the screen. Mm. Um, I think it worked quite well for them actually, yep. and it still does. But, uh, and well, you can get some happier customers as well as they're yeah. queuing up, waiting to pay. They've got something to look at yep. rather than get frustrated yeah. of, a, of a long queue that we, you know. It was the staff that was the problem. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Stop selling, and they were watching the TV <laughs> screens. Um, but yeah, 